Okay, hello and welcome back um, to this continuation of the climbing tutorial. Um, so uh, I now have introduced a new variable on my base character called climb state, which is of the type uh, the enumerator, uh, no climbing, jumping to ledge, or it's hanging from ledge. And I have that variable two places now. So this uh, I have this on the, my character blueprint and I also have it on my animation blueprint. And that introduces a new problem uh, because we kind of need to be able to keep these two synchronized so they uh, all the time have the same uh, value. And we need that for, for a number of reasons. If we, um, if we check the animation blueprint we know that uh, from, from uh, one of the previous tutorials that at, at some point our position is going to pass uh, the ledge point. And we don't know exactly when that is going to happen because the ledge can be at different heights. So um, at some point our state <coughs> is going to change from jumping to ledge to is hanging, uh, to is hanging from ledge. But we don't know exactly when that's going to happen and we want to set that here. So in order to not having to communicate that back using uh, a lot of uh, extra calls uh, here and there. And well, we basically want one single place to keep the state instead of having to maintain these two places. So um, one way that I found that I could do this um, is by deciding, OK, I want to keep this only on one of them, basically. One of them is gonna be the master of this. Um, and, well, that's not entirely true, actually. But I wanna, instead of just using, just setting this, the variables uh, like I do, I wanna do it using an interface function, okay? So, uh, here we go, let's do this. Um, we have this animation, eye animation uh, interface um, containing update is hanging. This one is actually, uh, we can delete this one now because we don't use it anymore. Okay, so we have um, one task plate, jump to ledge and stop movement. But we need all these three. We have them uh, being used somewhere. So we want to add a new function here called set climb state. And this is going to take as an input climb state of type climbing state. Okay, so let's compile this and uh, close it and also close this one. So let's see um, all the places where we set this. Um, now, actually, let's first do a couple of other things. Um, so here we are in the animation blueprint. So uh, let's see if we can find a good spot for this. It has jump to ledge. Let's put it somewhere here because we are also setting this. Okay. So um, um, we need to add a function that whenever we want to s update the climbing state. So let's do that, add new function, call this not uh, set because we already used that. So update, what is a good name? Update um, climbing state, okay. And that's gonna take as an input, the climbing state we wanna set. Climb state of type climbing state. And that's going to do two things. So the first thing it's going to do is to set this uh, on the animation blueprint locally. But then it's also going to tell our, uh, our owner, actor owner, owning actor, that um, it should update. That's it climbing state okay so and it should set it to this value 
So the idea now is that we have a function here that will make sure that this is being set all the time. Um, and we also need uh, on the base character blueprint that now to actually handle this. So we have this, we have some, let's put it up here over this jump. So we have this event set climb state. And here we wanna just uh, set climb state. Make sure this it's this one. So you're setting the variable. Otherwise you're gonna make, if you pick this one again, you're gonna get an infinite loop. I'm just saying this because I did it the first time. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now we have that uh, in place and um, actually you want to do something similar in here You on the, on the base character. So if the base character changes uh, the value, uh, then we want to do it the same way. So, um, so that we are telling the animation blueprint also that we change the state. So we can just copy this one. Uh, no, that's not actually a good idea. Let's just write it. Okay. Um, view function, oh, lots of functions, uh, what do I call it, update, climbing state, was it climbing state or climb state, very important, climbing state, okay, so uh, it's going to take this, um, why do I have my, um, oh, it's because I'm, I have this filter on, Almost, almost got me worried there. Okay, I want the climb state, I'll type climbing state, and I want to update my variable and set that. And I click this one here, and then I want to take my set animation. Uh, no, not set animation. Um, animation instance with a mesh. And I want to tell that to update its state. Um, set climb state, this one. Okay. Compile and save. And go to the animation blueprint and do the same. So that we have that handled. Um, we have jumped to let so let's put it here. Event update. No, nope. uh, it's um, set climb state. That's what we use. And make sure you don't set the climb state using your function now. Make sure that you just set it uh, set the uh, the variable here. So that's very important. Again, then you th these two will keep saying to each other that they are changing the var variable and uh, result in an infinite loop. So the the general idea here is now that we only set the, the this climbing state using the function. We don't set it directly. Don't don't set the variable anymore. We only set it using this uh, this um, this function here. Okay, so we have uh, we need to eliminate all these places now. So um, uh, this is quite important for the next part where we will make the jumping down because we have to introduce a new state, and then it becomes even more clear that we need to be absolutely sure when and what happens. Okay, so um, this one we need to replace, and uh, I need to find my function update uh, climbing state. It's here. So this one should be jumping to ledge. Okay, so replace this one. And let's scroll around and see if we can find anything else. Check grab position, that sounds like we have something. Okay, so here if we are reading the value, that's okay. Um, and here we are setting it. So here we again need our function. And it should be set to is hanging from ledge. So that's all. That's also telling now, us now that we are hanging from ledge in uh, the base character blueprint. Okay. Uh, do we have it somewhere else? I don't think so. No. Uh, so let's switch to the base character. Um, 
so that's our that's the common disk uh, set prime state okay. I should probably give this a different color so I don't mistake this for something and suddenly decide to replace it or whatever um, anyway let's not do that now um, try grab ledge that sounds like it could have something with this in here yeah it has so this let's think about this when we grab onto a ledge then it's a player initializing the jump to the ledge it's not the animation but it's uh, uh, because um, this is actually playing the animation stuff but we i i think it's fair to just say that okay we as a player are deciding that now we are jumping to a ledge so here we need to call our function instead of setting the variable again update and we not need to set it to jumping to ledge so now the animation blueprint also knows it okay um so that's set try grab ledge okay we cover that one Actually, let's go back into this one and check if facing wall does have something we need to change. Uh, does not seem so. And we didn't have anything else. Nope. Okay, so let's close this one. And um, we have this one. Oh no, that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna color this different. It's gonna be dark purple. So I don't think for some reason that I should do something with this. Okay, so uh, set and make it purple. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so purple, don't touch. They are good. Okay, uh, save. Because I didn't save for time. Some time. Let's see, do we have something else we need to replace? Maybe I had something on my event tech check, check climbing state. This is just reading it and drop down. Oh yeah, we have one here. Um, so right now we're setting it to not climbing, but since we don't know if we actually hit the ground yet, which is uh, kind of an, an interesting, um, um, topic to discuss uh, I think I will keep this hanging in the air for, for a bit <laughs> so to speak um, and say okay we need we don't know if we uh, are not climbing yet but we know we are dropping uh, from a ledge at this point okay so we will actually add a new enum value for this and with this I think we will end this video and then continue in the next one. So um, that's the last thing I'm going to do, if I can remember where I put it. On the climbing. And add a new. Uh, drop ping from ledge. And save this. And close this. And go and set this dropping from ledge. But we don't need want to do that. We actually want to do it using our function. Is dropping from ledge. Almost forgot. Okay. So I wonder if we have uh, any more re reference to this climb state. Let's check it. So find references. Uh, we have it. Uh, that's it. We have one here. Oh, that's a good one. Um, that's a get. That's a get, that's a get, and oh, this one, oh, this is the interface function, that's also okay, and this one is also okay, this one is uh, something, is it free one climb, get, uh, I don't think so, no, I think we have all, all of them. Let's also make the check uh, in the animation blueprint. Um, did we miss some uh, climbing? This is uh, the check and uh, 
check this is a function. Um, maybe have a set and this is also a down space function. Uh, nope, I think we're good. And this is a good one. So, with that, um, let's finish off by testing if everything is now working still, because I might have broken something. Uh, so we're still uh, able to slide. And when we come outside here, we uh, we are, hmm. well, we should technically not be walking, uh, technically be walking, but for some reason it's not working. Um, but I will start off in the next video to address uh, by addressing this, and then we will um, take a look at the, how to build the animation or um, get the animation ready from Mixamo to uh, enable our character to, to jump down again. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.